Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Donia and this is Coco. And thank you guys so much for watching. So in today's video, I'm going to be reviewing new makeup products and also just um like face products. So I don't want this video to be so long, so I'm just going to go ahead and jump into it. Okay guys, so I know I look crazy right now, but I literally just got home like 30 minutes ago. I got in the shower and then I was like, okay, I need to film this video. So that's why I'm sitting right now. So my, so my hair is a little wet, but anyways, um, so first I want to start off with face products. So the first product that I'm going to go going into is this Lancome Advanced um, Youth Acne Concentrate. So this one looks like this. I actually dropped this in the top broke because it is all glass, but um, I actually got this for Christmas. And if you guys saw my Christmas video for what I got for Christmas, this was in it. And I really didn't think I would be a big, huge fan of this. But I figured that this is really, really, really good for my skin. And um, I actually used this product along with two other products that I will be showing you guys throughout the video. So this product actually is dermatology tested. And this brings 20 milliliters in the container. This is from Lancome. It's for all skin types. It says you can use daily, which is whether in the morning or in the night i only use this in the nighttime routine right after i actually um remove my makeup and it's just like a skin routine so basically what i um is supposed to make like your skin look more concentrated like more juvenile i guess i can say so i wash my face and i actually put pour this a little bit on my fingers i kind of just massage it and put it all over my face after i have removed my makeup and it leaves my skin really really soft and soothing like it feels like so extremely relaxed and moisturized and that's something that i like about this product along with this product once i let it sit for maybe i don't let it sit that long i actually let it sit for only about 10 seconds or so or 15 seconds and then i go in with my mario badescu if that's the way i'm saying it and I spray this all over my face. And these two combinations make my skin so extremely soft, relaxing, hydrating, smoothing. I it, it feels amazing. Like my skin doesn't feel dry at all. And that's something that I'm looking in products. So I actually got this for Valentine's Day. Um, so this one is a mist onto the face, neck, hair as needed. It is to infuse more hydration before or after applying moisturizer, which is the one that I use. And um, as well as a pickup to go. So normally this one, I use it obviously once I get out of the bath and I apply this. Or before I apply my makeup, I use it actually to also damp my beauty sponge or my beauty blender when I'm applying my makeup. And then I just use it throughout the day whenever I feel like my skin is really, really dry. Like for example, right now I just got out of the shower and I actually just spray this all over my face. And my face feels like, it feels a little soft right now, like little dry down here. Simply because I didn't use this, I only used this during the nighttime, um, like right after I washed my face. But this, these two combinations, like I said, is really, really, really good. I really like it. And then just in general, this um, this spray is really, really good. I figured that I, I've had acne problems and I noticed that this does not break me out at all. So it's really good. If I'm not mistaking, this one, I think it, I've seen it at Ulta and I think my fiance got this at Ulta. It retails for, I think like $4, the small ones. But the big ones, I think they retail for 9 I might be lying to you guys, so don't believe what I'm saying right now. But they are not expensive and they're really good quality to me. Um... So I got the one in Orange Blossom, and then I think there's also like green tea, and then there's other colors. The Mario um, Badescu, they have a lot of a lot of products under lines. I think they have like, I think they're mostly re they're they're mostly into the line towards like acne stuff because they I saw a bunch of acne stuff. Like for example, they have like an acne gel or stuff like that. So it's really really good. You guys should actually go in Ulta. They have like their whole section. So you should actually go online or go to your local Ulta. And check them out because I really, really, really do recommend them. So the next product that I'm going to be trying is the Lancome um, Youth Activating Smoothing Eye Cream. And then this one is the brother or sister to this one. 
I actually got this one with that one as well. So what I do with this one is also right after I take off my makeup, um, I use this cream. Like I literally use just a tiny bit. And I soothe it into my fingers and then I start to apply it right under my eyes. So what I do with this one, it says right under your eyes, but I like to massage it so nicely and so deeply. And I like to bring it all around in my upper lids. Um, I haven't really seen like a huge, huge difference with this, but when i apply it after having a bunch of makeup it really makes my eyes like really really relaxing and they look like it's actually helping but like i said i haven't really seen like a huge difference on this but i will definitely keep using it um simple because i like how it looks when i'm massaging it into my skin and everything and my face does wake up looking really nice so i'm definitely gonna keep using it even though i'm not seeing like huge um results on the dark on your eye dark circles that i have so yes so so far i'm sorry guys but i was actually nibbling on some cookies but so far those are the only new face products that i have actually been trying recently so now i want to go ahead and start with the makeup portion so i only have one um eye makeup portion um item or product and the one that i'm talking about is the stilla um liquid eye shadow liquid eyeshadow and i actually got this in the shade smoky storm i don't know if you guys can see that but anyways um so this is a liquid eyeshadow and ever since i saw these on display at ulta i've been wanting one so so bad so i actually got this one for a valentine's day as well and these things literally retail for like 32 dollars this thing right here that only has an amount of it doesn't even say what the what the ounces it has, but it probably did have it on their um in the thing that they came in, the carton. So um yeah, thirty-two dollars for this. And once every time I would go, I actually swatch them on my hands and they were the most beautiful, the most pigmented, blinding things ever. When I got this, I was so excited. I was actually going on a date. I took a uh, I took like really 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 a, a really good while to do my makeup like the matte portion of it and it looked like so good like so bomb and then when I went to apply this it was not even like it didn't even surprise me it literally didn't even blow me away to how when I swatched the ones at Ulta I was really so upset because <laughs> I was really just so upset because I felt like it ruined my makeup and I literally had to do the whole thing again I'm not sure if it's because I've never really worked with these I actually own an essence liquid one. I actually showed you guys that one in my previous video. That one works really good. I'm actually really impressed. From this one that costs 32 something dollars and the other one was only like four bucks, I believe. But um, so you open up the thing and it actually has this type of application right here. It's kind of like a um like a lipstick or something. So if you go to apply it this is how it looks it looks really really beautiful i know it looks like stunning it looks blinding and everything but honestly it's like when i apply it on my eyelids it's like i have no pigmentation on it i'm not sure if it's because i'm not applying it like how i'm supposed to but um ever since i'm not lying to you guys ever since i have not used this product again it looks really beautiful but maybe i just need to learn how to use it better um but I just wanted to share with you guys my thoughts about this one simply because it wasn't really what I expected as of swatching it on the hands. So as you guys can see, it's like really, really pretty. But it's something that I haven't gotten the time to... Um, I'm looking at my nails right now because it's so funny. I got my nails, my mom got my... um, Paid for my nails to get done like three weeks ago almost. And then this one just started to come off but anyways about this product um it's not the most blinding thing that it happened to me when i first used it but i will definitely give it another try and maybe it'll change my mind and i will definitely let you guys know maybe i will even do a makeup look because using this one um for friday's video and i will post it up for you guys now the other products that i want to talk about is three products 
and let me tell you guys that i've been dying to try these products for the longest time ever and i literally mean the longest time ever so the products that i am talking about is the physician formulas butter blushes and the bronze booster um these are the three that i got and these items retail for $14.99 each. And this, the price is even on there. The only reason, I gotta be completely honest, the only reason that I was able to purchase these was because my local Kmart was actually closing. I went to look at the items that they had and I actually found these were the only three items from Physician Formulas, I'm sorry, that were available and I, I couldn't, I couldn't beat the deal. These run for $14.99 and I got them for like $3 each. So I spent like, three like nine dollars in total of these the only physician formulas products that i own is their small eyeshadow which is this one right here this one's the one that i actually got from ulta and i think i've done a video on this palette i don't really recall but these eyeshadows right here they are so extremely pigmented so creamy and beautifully they perform amazing on my lids i'm literally in love with this palette and i think i actually got this one on sale for like five dollars at ulta um, I might be wrong, but I really think I'm not. I think I got this like for $5, which was a steal because I think this was actually on retail for like $11. I'm not completely sure. But the products that I really want to talk about today is the butter butter blushes. I've been dying to try these products and just looking off the bat from it, like the packaging, it's like really well like locked and everything. And it that actually gives it a good way to talk about it, how they want to protect um their products so yeah so when i open this up everything is like a plastic um and it asks, and it looks like an ivy type of beachy vibe so what actually at the bottom it has like at the top it says precision formulas and then it says natural glow it says butter blushes and it brings what the container brings so it brings 0 0.26 ounces of product and then when i turn it around it has a little lock right here so I push that lock and it pops open. So the clear, so the, the, um, the, oh, uh, what's the name? Well, you know, the lid, the lid. The lid, as you guys can see, I can see through you guys. And then this is the blush right here. Kind of looks like a sandy type of thing. And then when you open it up, it actually has a mirror right here. Hi. And then it brings this little blush brush right here. And this one's kind of just like a plastic type of rubbery thing. So this is probably something I would not use. Um, but the mirror is a small mirror. And then when you have it right here, you open it up. And then actually, this is the first time that I'm feeling this. And it feels so soft, like so creamy. It glides like butter. Oh my goodness. This actually reminds me more of a highlight than a blush. But this is so, so nice. It's really, really creamy. I'm really not going to lie to you guys. This is probably a shade that I wouldn't really use as a blush. Because I feel like it's too pale for my skin. But depending on the look that I'm doing, I could probably work with it. The um, And this is actually in the color... Um, I'm not sure. Let me see. Natural Glow. Oh no, that's the same thing that this one says. <laughs> I'm not sure, but this one is a, actually a bit, bit more lighter than this one. This one's a little bit more of a rosy gold color. So I'm going to go ahead and open this one up and swatch it right beside the other one. That way you guys can see. And the packaging is everything still the same. It's not nothing different. So I'm just going to go ahead and slide this one right. Yeah. So I'm not sure if you guys can see, but this one looks... Um, real, I think on the camera, this one looks a little bit more lighter than this one. But this one's actually a little bit tiny bit more darker than this one. They literally feel like butter. But to me, honestly, right when I'm swatching it, because obviously the difference is when you get it on your face. In my opinion, they look a little bit more like a highlight than a bronzer. But um, I can't wait to actually try these. If I do that video on that Stella Liquid Eyeshadow on Friday, I will definitely be using these. That way you guys can see how they perform. So the other product that I was talking about is the bronzer booster. This one is not the buttery bronzers that they um, actually have on their, on their website now, in their stores. So when you open this one up, as you guys can see, it's actually a powder bronzer. And it says bronze booster and it has a really big, nice, decent mirror. 
And then when you open it also, like the other ones, it has not a mirror here because it has it at the front. And it has this super, super cute blush. And this is something that I will probably definitely use because it actually has bristles on it. And then the handle is just like a gold um, thing. So yeah. So this is what it looks like. And I'm just going to rub my fingers in here. And I'm going to swatch it right beside the other one. So as you guys can see. Let me swipe it on this side actually. Yeah, so you guys can actually see. But this, um, it on like on real person, it looks really, really nice. It looks really natural. Not super bronzy, but bronzy enough to give it that natural touch. So I really, really like this one so much as like performing it right now on my skin. It looks really good. These two, I would actually have to... Oh! Great. So this, these two and the one that I found on the floor, I would actually have to perform on my face to see how they work because I've heard amazing reviews of these and I do not want to speak badly about it without having to try it yet. So I definitely want to give these a try and I will definitely let you guys know what they, um, how they perform. Okay guys, so I'm actually I, um, on my way to work. I didn't even notice the time was flying so by so i'm actually heading to work right now but i just wanted to say that that is all for my video today i hope you guys enjoyed these reviews that i give you i mean everybody is entitled to their own opinions that's my own opinions about each product that i showed you guys but um like i said i hope you guys like this video and don't forget to give it a thumbs up and if you didn't like it give it a thumbs down but still subscribe because you guys might like my other video and i will see you on my friday's video bye guys